Hi, this is Chris Nielsen. Welcome back for part three of our Movie Maker tutorial review. In the last segment, we talked about adding custom XML transitions into Movie Maker. In this segment, we're actually going to use those transitions and we're going to change the values. So we're going to change what those transitions do. Now, the first thing to remember, you got to keep this in mind, is that Movie Maker loads those transition files when it starts up. So any new XML files you create and put in your add-on TFX folder and any changes you make to those will not take effect until you restart Movie Maker. So you're going to want to save your projects often because you're going to be restarting Movie Maker every time we make a change. So let's jump into Movie Maker. I've got Movie Maker here and I've got a couple of videos. We're going to do a very simple, a simple project. I'm going to grab video one, video two, drop them in my timeline and I'm going to add a video transition. I've got this transition here called Spoke 8 Wheels. I'm going to drop this here and I'm going to jump over to my timeline view so that we can see what's really happening. You see if I scrub my playhead over, I've got a transition here that involves 8 spokes. Now I want to change that from 8 spokes to 16 spokes. Now that's not something you can normally do in Movie Maker. But we now know that that 8 spoke is simply a variable in that XML file, and we now control that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save my project. Remember, you need to save often. I'll just stick it out on my desktop and call it sample. I'm going to close Movie Maker, and I'm going to head into my Movie Maker shared add-on TFX folder where this transition lives. And I want to right-click, and you want to edit. You can actually tell it to open with Notepad all the time so that you, you, you don't have to keep choosing Edit. And I see here that I have a transition called Wheels 8 Spokes. And I want to change this 8 to a 16. I want to save those changes. And now I'm going to launch Movie Maker again. I've got my sample project here, so let me open it back up. And now... I need to reapply my video transition here. So we'll find our wheels, eight spokes, and we're going to drag that back on. And now we have a transition that has 16 spokes instead of eight. Now, on its surface, that's, you know, great. I went from four spokes to eight spokes to 16 spokes. But what's really important here is that a lot of these video transitions involve video moving to the side as it fades out or zooms out and we can control the timing of those transitions and the effects of those transitions. So we can fake picture in picture. We can change our spoke value to something so much higher we can you know, create a little time warp effect. There's a lot of things that you can do by manipulating these transitions that already exist. The key is to know where the transition is, it's in that add-on add TFX folder, and the fact that you need to restart Movie Maker every time that you make a change. So that's editing our custom XML files. In the next segment, we're going to talk about adding a moving object to the screen as a custom overlay. Thank you.